Later on the show, DIY expert Daniel Kukin shows you how to create your own custom antique mirror. Plans for Paige's wedding full speed ahead, and her and Jason are going to get so married excited. right We're here in so the backyard excited. of our wonderful home on a Hallmark primetime home and family special, and it is airing here on Hallmark Channel the 22nd of June, 8, 7 Central, TikTok, TikTok, June is right around. Can't wait. Wow. So it's just, I mean, I go, wow, we're already into April, moving fast. And Dan, Tanya, this Danny is your Memmi's first here. project. Yes. yes. We're I'm, so excited. What are you making today? Well, this is a burlap um, aisle runner for Paige's wedding. And this is, yes, the very, very first DIY of your wedding. So I am just so thrilled. Which this so is very honored. The theme, too. I know. It's a little yeah. rustic, a little uh -huh. chic. You can see yeah. we take the burlap and add the lace. I think that's what brings in those right. two elements. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But... I'm just so excited because we get to lay this down on the ground and I'm walking over it. This like is, this is this yeah. is the real it's deal. Presenting yeah. you. Yeah. Yes. So it's inspiration started. for it. Inspiration. I well, I love burlap, uh -huh. but I want to try to make it pretty. So these are kind of like my inspiration. I got these door hangers. I got P and J and S, which my new last name will be short. Mm -hmm. Um and, and so how short will it be? Just short, just little. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm sorry, I, just I had be, to go there. I will be one page short <laughs> okay. of a good book. <laughs> okay. Very nice. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I think you're just built with them. Yes. Okay. So the burlap, and then also I like the frilliness of this ribbon. <clears throat> so we kind of want to make that our pattern for the runner. So this is what I was given, literally your inspiration, which was yes. these initials <laughs> and this pattern. So with this and some burlap, which is also on here as well, mm -hmm. this is sort of the design that we came up with. And I'm very, very excited to show you um, how okay. I made well, it. Well, earlier right. this morning you were here, so let's take a look at what you did. She okay. Making me work for my wedding. Yes. So the first <laughs> yeah. thing you have to do is actually measure the area in which the aisle, the runner is going to lay. So it is going to be 53 yep. feet long. Yep. And about 40 inches wide, which is what we figured out. Yep. We have about 48 inches there for the actual cement, but we wanted a little on each side, a little room to give us this. Because flopping over, no, right? plus you're going to make it so pretty on the edge. I we know, have I'm to, so excited. So we have the to first celebrate thing, the edge. Yes. So this burlap was actually too long, so we cut it down to 40 inches wide, which is what we decided. So I'm measuring right now. Um, next, here I am cutting, and I found this nifty little tool, which is a rotary cutter. This is like my very best friend for this project. It makes everything so easy. You just slice it like you're slicing a piece of pizza all the way down. Make sure that you measure in increments of 40 inches all the way down so that you keep your line straight. And then here we are. We're starting off with the chic part of the entire situation. So yeah. <laughs> we take the, um, the ribbon right here, which is how we ended off in the pre-tape. And the first thing we're gonna do is I got some three inch wide silk or satin ribbon mm -hmm. and it's called, I'm gonna bevel it. So this is also no sew, which is the coolest thing ever yes. because I can't sew and Paige, you told I. me you hate sewing. So the first thing we're gonna do is take some glue and just run it all the way down. Probably do just in. That stuff is a miracle. Like, it is. I think astronauts brought that back. And, <laughs> and still, I have some yeah. from this morning all over my <laughs> all over all fingers, those hands. Yeah. But I don't know why we do manicures, Paige. I know. Um, okay, so here we are. I'm just beveling it. So I'm just going to bring it together like this and like this. And I'm going to go all the way down. And then, and you don't have to be perfect. You really don't. Even if they're not exactly spaced apart, by the time you're done, it'll look like they are. See, and if you call take... it rustic, that means you can mess up. <laughs> That's so, true. Like, it, was on, it was on it purpose. It was supposed to be that way. Yeah. Exactly. When nature made it. Exactly. And then you just go all the way down. And well, then the next, oh, sorry. What I was going to say, while you're doing that, yep. before mm -hmm. we go on to the next thing, um, if you went to buy one of these things, how much would it cost? Oh, and how they much are did it so, cost so it? expensive. We you can research probably a million. It. You did? You did? One million dollars. One million. Seriously, just about. how much did it cost? You said you researched it? Yes. You can rent them for about 100 to $300, but if you want to buy something and you want something custom, you're mm -hmm. looking at 500 to $1,000. Oh, who would okay. want to rent something made. like this? Yeah. You know, like we've had 12 brides walk down the street. I know. I'd like I know. to run it to you. And, and, and it's also so special having, yeah. you know, making it with you, too. I mean, this really means a lot. And what, we spent $150, $125 on 125. this? 125 yeah. Okay, and then you just take this lace, okay, which is about an inch and a half, and you just put an additional, here, let me show you, an additional row of glue just above the beveled ribbon. Okay, it's a little messy, but don't worry about it. And you just tap it down right over top. And this really tailors. What? the look of the ribbon. Which and is then the nice. stencil is the last. Okay, the stencil. So yes. I love stencils. So I wanted to find. Can I open this? 
not yet. We're oh, not yet. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, so I wanted to find some stencils that sort of mimicked the, your, the pattern that you showed uh -huh. me on the ribbon. Mm -hmm. We found a few different kinds, okay? Lovely. And we tested them out on cardboard. This is definitely something you want to do. Don't test it out on the fabric because you can't take it back. Okay, and then we decided we were going to go with this one. So the next thing you want to do is kind of just lay it down in the middle of the runner so you can really get a look and an idea of what it's going to look like. Once you figure out your exact pattern, mm -hmm. super easy. Stenciling is something anyone can do. You're going to take your stencil, okay, and you can cut them out. You can have it all on one big giant stencil or piece them together. Take some stencil spray. This is the key right here. You what will make a this? mess without this. Yes. It's quite fabulous. It actually holds it down on the fabric, and when you're dealing with something like burlap, yeah. it's so kind of, it's really intricate when you look down at it, and it's yeah. not a flat surface. Is it so glue? It's, it's a, a glue, but it doesn't more like stick, 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 okay. stick to so the fabric. So it's like a post-it. You You've made it, it off. Yeah. Yes. And what's it called again? Uh, it, it is stencil spray. Stencil, stencil spray. Okay. spray. And, and the then, thing, I mean, we're going to use this as an aisle runner, but you right. can use it on your table as a table runner. You can use it as a tapestry, which I think I'm going to do when we're done walking down the Okay, and this is all doing? you do. This is a stencil brush. It has a flat edge, and you just want to take it and stencil it out just like that. Okay, we're gonna you finish it, but pattern. let's reveal it. Yes. And you just do your pattern all the way oh, down. We're going to put everything on our Pinterest page, you Look guys, so you can yes. see Check the instructions. Out. So just pull Beautiful. it down. You so know what? To see. Just keep Tanya, on Tanya, this is really, really lovely. And Paige, Isn't this really gorgeous? nice job, you guys. I'm this so excited. Your feet will touch, 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 touch this. Yes. Hey, coming up, <laughs> thank you guys so much. Coming up, we're going to sit down and talk with Scott Eastwood and Britt Robertson about their Wait, new romantic film, The Longest Ride. It's coming up next.